Good morning, folks. We've got looks at the sun and an update on the track of Hurricane Lee, but many of you know the big story is the one in Morocco. Let's quickly get through these few items and send our thoughts and prayers to Northwest Africa. Starting with the last 24 hours on our star, we find that there were a lot of rumblings and surging potential at both the active region sunspots and the plasma filaments, but none elevated to significant solar flare or CME release towards the Earth. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet, but there is every reason to continue monitoring these active regions as they continue to face Earth here over the weekend. It appears we have a few new spots in coming near the limb, and we'll need to keep an eye on those in the next week as well. Of course, the big story today is the magnitude 6.8 earthquake in Morocco. Over 800 people are reportedly lost as of the count this morning, and that number is expected to rise. I won't show the devastation left behind. I'm sure you can find it online if you are wanting to do so. I did a bit of checking, however, and this is an extremely rare location to see something like this. In fact, I ran the records back to the year 1900. Nothing. It's the biggest one. Back in 1980, 43 years ago, there was a seven-pointer several hundred miles away in Algeria, but nothing like this in Morocco. God help everyone still trapped in the rubble. Lastly here, folks, there are three powerful storm systems in the waters around the Americas. Luckily, only one is a tremendous threat to anything, and the latest update to the track of Hurricane Lee shows it beginning to bend northward as it moves closer. Bermuda would be the only scare if this path holds, even while those Caribbean islands will likely feel the outskirts of the storm. We greatly appreciate your support. Brutal night for Morocco. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 7 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.